Hi everyone, for today's video I'm going to talk about The Bad Batch Season 3. Star Wars The Bad Batch Season 3 is the third and final season of the series. And just to catch everybody up, the show's a sequel and a spin-off from the series Star Wars The Clone Wars. And the show stars The Bad Batch, or Clone Force 99, a squad of elite clone troopers with genetic mutations who deserted the Empire and are now doing mercenary missions in the aftermath of the Clone Wars and the beginning of the Empire. And all of these clones have their own unique abilities. For instance, their leader Hunter has enhanced sensory abilities, and Wrecker has enhanced muscle form giving him superhuman strength. And there's Tech who has advanced mental capacity and intelligence. And there's Crosshair who has keen eyesight and excellent marksmanship. And there's Echo, who is a cybernetic clone. And there's their other member, Omega, a female clone. And with that out of the way, let's move on to the series. So Season 3 takes place immediately after the events of Season 2, as the Bad Batch have suffered a huge loss, losing two of their members, with Tech passing away and with Omega being captured by the Empire. And so the Batch have to test their limits in the fight to reunite with Omega as she faces her own challenges in a remote Imperial Science Lab at Mount Tantis. With the group fractured and facing threats from all directions, they will have to seek out unexpected allies and embark on dangerous missions and muster everything they have to learn to free themselves from the Empire. So I just want to say that I enjoyed the series as a whole. The characters are great as always. I am happy to see that both Crosshair and Dr. Carr redeemed themselves for their past actions. Especially Crosshair as he puts himself in the face of danger. We also enjoyed the dark episodes as it heightened the stakes and it shows the brutality of war. And it was nice to see that the darker episodes didn't pull their punches when they showed how cruel the Empire is. And it was nice to see some of the other characters from the Clone Wars series. It was also satisfying to see the villains get their comeuppance. Especially after all the shit they have done to the characters. And speaking of the characters, I enjoyed the banter the Bad Batch had with Rampart as he bitches about stuff. I can't wear this. It's a captain's uniform. I was a vice admiral. Well, you've been demoted. I hate clones. WHAT AN ASSHOLE! And of course, the animation is stellar, as we get to see the badass action scenes. Also, pretty much like every Star Wars fan, I was hoping that the finale would be longer, which thankfully it was. And it was a good finale. I was quite satisfied by it and its epilogue, where the characters all have their own happy endings. But I will admit, I was hoping for a more climactic battle to be on the scale of the Clone Rebellion in Kamino in Battlefield 2, where the Bad Batch, alongside with the Imprisoned Clones, and Rex with his clone underground, fighting against the TK Troopers and the Commando Troopers, and having Wolf and his squad show up in this emotional climax by having brother against brother. A special detachment of the Imperial 501st Legion was dispatched to Kamino with orders to eradicate an army of clones that had been bred to take arms against the Empire. The first few kills were the hearth. After all, it's hard not to get a little spooked when the enemy screams with your voice. But we shook it off and did our job. But having the Zillow Beast rampaging at the base was a good substitute. However, I do have some criticisms of this season. For instance, some of the episodes where the Bad Batch took side quests seem unnecessary, as this was the final season and there shouldn't be any loose ends, or else we'll get a bunch of unanswered questions. Also, I believe the order of the episodes should be improved, as it would have had more satisfying payoffs. Like having episode 3 and 2 switch places, and episode 10 and 11 switch places as well. As the ending of episode 11 would have hit harder emotionally. Also, what's the deal with these Star Wars shows and their side quests? I mean, god damn, it's not a fucking video game. But overall, the series as a whole, it's pretty good. I would recommend it. So I give it 4.5 out of 5. Bad Batch Helmets. And that was the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos just like this. Oh, and if you like my work, support the channel at Ko-Fi. There you can support me in making these videos and have your names in the credits. And if you do support me, I thank you very much and I appreciate it very much. Again, stay safe out there and may the force be with you.